In the world of boxing, there are champions and then there are legends. Vasyl Lomachenko is among the few who are both. The Ukrainian phenom, known for his exceptional footwork and lightning-fast hands, has held multiple world championships in three weight classes, from featherweight to lightweight, including unified and lineal titles at lightweight. He simply took the sport by storm, earning titles in multiple weight classes and captivating fans with his unique style. But even the greatest champions can stumble, and Lomachenko's defeat against Teofimo Lopez was a harsh reminder of the unforgiving nature of the sport. Every journey has its obstacles, and for Lomachenko, there were no exceptions. You see, Lomachenko is a perfectionist on a mission. His recent sparring partners say the tiny magician feels seven foot tall inside the ring, such as the kind of control, confidence, and grace he carries. But for the first time onward, Lomachenko has major concerns to address and burning questions about his defeat to Teofimo Lopez, the reasons behind it, and what it means for his future. He has worn a look of frustration ever since, even refusing to recognize the result as a defeat. He has also had shoulder surgery on an injury that hampered his right arm during the Lopez fight. It is the latest in a series of serious physical issues. His shoulder injury meant he could barely use his right arm from the early rounds onward, he says. Since losing, it has been claimed that Lomachenko knew his shoulder was impaired beforehand and lost a week of training due to it, but refused to postpone the fight. He underwent surgery two days after losing to Lopez, beginning the long and laborious road back to the ring. Lomachenko has previously had a dislocated shoulder and a dislocated knuckle. The decades of punching, the 413 combined amateur and pro fights, are racking up. On October 20, 2022, however, we saw Lomachenko step back into the ring to face his former sparring partner, 26-year-old undefeated Jermaine Ortiz. After a very competitive 12-round battle, Lomachenko emerged victorious with a unanimous decision. With the win, Lomachenko was poised to next challenge undisputed champion Devin Haney, who was ringside for the fight and expressed interest in fighting Lomachenko. It was meant to be what we all thought was going to be the comeback of the Ukrainian phenomena. It was called a route back to his old unified lightweight title, especially since the man who had defeated Lomachenko for those belts, Teofimo Lopez, had lost them to George Cambosa Jr. in an upset of his own. It was, however, not the case. With Lomachenko coming in as the underdog for the first time in his career, the fight with Devin Haney turned out to be closely contested, with both men finding success. Lomachenko was scoring with clean combinations to the head, while Haney countered consistently with solid body shots. Late in the fight, Lomachenko became increasingly dominant, finding particular success in the 10th and 11th rounds. However, Haney rallied to win the final round on all three judges' scorecards. Loma fell short once again, and the comeback the world envisioned was not meant to be. At least not for now. Ultimately, Lomachenko suffered his third professional defeat, losing via unanimous decision with scores of 116 to 112, 115 to 113, and 115 to 113, all in favor of the champion Haney, who retained his world titles. However, the decision was greatly disputed, as many onlookers felt Lomachenko had done enough to win, including fellow boxers Shakur Stevenson and George Linares, who had previously predicted a Haney victory. One thing is worth mentioning, regardless of the result, the fight and the performances of both men were widely praised. Numerous accounts characterized it as thrilling, with high praise for Lomachenko's performance against a much younger and larger opponent. The questions and doubts are, therefore, mounting. Can the king reclaim his throne once more? Is he really done? Or does he even have it in him? The truth is, Lomachenko's road to redemption is definitely paved with challenges, but with every punch and every step, he inches closer to reclaiming his throne. The fact is, boxing loves a comeback. While we admire the zero and Rocky Marciano's 49-0 or Floyd Mayweather's 50-0, the true fighting spirit of boxing is found elsewhere. It's Muhammad Ali or Evander Holyfield reclaiming the heavyweight throne after losing the gold. It's about fighters like Glenn Johnson or Frank Bruno putting heartbreaking losses behind them to reach the top. Lomachenko's journey back is intriguing because he was once a man who was invincible but is now mortal. A human is more relatable to the general public than a god. We now get to see how one of the most exciting fighters of the last decade reacts after being brought back down to earth. Hopefully you will not wait long, when we get to see the pure punching power evident in this next clip back in action.